What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the MSN Weather Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is get the forecast for tomorrow. So this is an action where you can pass in a location and it'll give you back the weather forecast for tomorrow according to MSN Weather. So let's take, take a look at it. So I'm in uh, a flow here, I'm writing manual trigger. I can click on new step and I can go to MSM weather and choose this action down here, get the weather forecast for tomorrow. So if I click on that, I can then get, uh, I can then get prompted to put in a location and a unit. So location is going to be um, either the city, region, state, country, landmark, postcode or lang lot, uh, latitude or longitude. So in this instance, I can just type something in like Manchester, uh, UK, uh, and I can change the measurements from units to imperial to metric because I work in metric. Uh, and then I can test this out. So we'll test, I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. And we'll run the flow and click done. And it flow runs and then we can see, here's the information we've got. So conditions tomorrow will be light rain. Um, the rain chance is 100%, obviously, because I live in Manchester and it always rains. We get information about the, the wind speed, the humidity, the temperature. Uh, so it's going to have a high of 14 tomorrow. That's you know, not too bad. Low of 9. And we get all this other information. So we get information about the UV index. We get the night summaries. We get um, the day summaries. We get the night conditions. We get... Um, do we get information about the, the yeah, we get information about the, the, su the sunrise, the sunset, the moonrise and the moonset. It's, uh, it's a waxy gibbous moon tomorrow. Uh, and we also get the longitude and latitude of uh, that location as well. So that's the longitude and latitude of Manchester. Uh, and we can do more with this as well. So we could potentially pass, uh, pass some data in. So we could get data from, say, um, a location. So say you're sending an engineer to a location. Um, they may need to know what the weather is like tomorrow, so we could use this and we could pass in that information from there. Um, I, for instance, have this manual trigger, so I could pass in, again, I could pass in um, maybe the city address uh, from where I'm going to be. Uh, we can test this out and this will probably bring back Stockport, because uh, that's uh, the closest town to where I live. Um, so yeah, this is saying stop for. So we could we could pass this information from maybe the account details that we're going to be sending an engineer to, so the location of where they're going, and we could say, hey, it's going to rain tomorrow. Remember to make sure you bring your umbrella, or it's going to be really sunny tomorrow. Make sure to bring your sunscreen, or it's going to be really windy tomorrow. Maybe you need some additional, um, you know, protective equipment for the job that you don't do because it's an outside job, uh, or it's a job at height. And maybe you know if it's if it's beyond a certain wind speed, um, maybe we cancel the job. So that's another use for this. You could uh, have a bunch of engineers that do uh, work at height, and if the wind speed gets above a certain um, a certain speed, then we can't do something. So we could go down here and we could get the um, uh, get the wind speed. So it's night wind speed, day wind speed. So we could say, hey, if the day wind speed is above twenty then we're going to cancel that job automatically. So there's loads of uses for this in, ter in terms of like getting information um, and telling people in information. So I think this is a really useful action. But what do you guys think? What do you use it for at the moment? Or what, do you, what may you use it for in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.